What actually motivates you to wake up every day pursuing your dream and goals? I wish I can say coffee. <laughs> I think the innocence, the wanting to know exploration in their eyes, right? These are the things that motivates me every time I get up and I say, hey, can I touch someone's life in whatever aspect I can. What advice do you have for students who will be taking their O-levels and they are unsure of what to do? Coming from Media Arts and Design School, we made it slightly better for the students in that sense because when they come in, we have like eight specialization. The very fact they come to media arts and design, as the word implies, is which sector they want to go, media arts or design. So we give them the opportunity to try as many specializations so they can do music or they can do motion graphics or they can do animation, you know. So as they select all this and they are called tasters, so for them to just get a feel of what they want. Once they get the feel of it and they know they are good at those uh, areas, right? Mm. then they can move on to the diploma. Um, during COVID, we all face a lot of challenges and in the media industry, most of the things are actually hands-on. Mm. So with that, what do you actually do to actually tweak your teaching materials mm. and overcome all these challenges? You are right. It's very hands-on, it's very practical. We have to switch from DSL camera, video camera to handphone. So mobile videography, mobile photography was something that I have to learn really fast. So I decided to head towards that. I tell the students, okay, we were all online on Zoom. And we were saying, I was telling them, okay, I'm going to teach you about, uh, let's say, composition. Okay, so I will use handphone. Uh, and they will do a hands-on practice. So at home, they will take and they practice framing and then we we'll all share in groups and then we we'll analyze. It is not the equipment that really makes a difference. You don't need a $50,000 camera to produce something amazing. It is, I can give you a very cheap camera and you can do amazing stuff. It's an art, it's a craft. How do you keep them engaged in the classroom? I tell them my story. In fact, this semester, there was this student who came up to me and she's always very nervous. She will not do well in her, in her studies. And she said she did very badly in O levels and everything. So I asked her, how badly did you do? And she said, oh, I only has this number of credits. So I told her, do you know I failed my O-levels? <laughs> so she was like, I said, it's okay to fail once in a while, but then pick up and move, right? So I told her, if I can fail O-levels and pick myself up, and she's so much better than me. So I was telling her that if I can get a bachelor and master's, even though I failed my O-levels, I didn't give up, so don't. And I think that kind of was singing to her. 